Yeah. I'm talking. Oh. oh, okay. We're so, acting. Yeah. <laughs> so, what inspired you to write this book? All about home. It starts off about homeless. It also goes into the discussion of this sister, Janine and Vicky. Right. And then it goes off into Vera and her story. We know from the beginning that Vera is homeless. And the question is, how did you do this to yourself? Right. So, what made you write this? about these sisters and this I actually had a question. I um, had a perspective like Janine um, where uh, I would see when I look at home with people and wonder what happened to you that you would rather live on the street than, you know, because sometimes they seem so resigned when you see them on the street. And I, I always wonder what what story, what happened. And so I decided to just write a, write a story and take the readers through a journey of, okay, things really tragic happen. And this is how one person, one character, Vera, got there. But, you know, homeless people, they all have different stories. Stories and I put in there that I didn't plan this. That perspective of life. I, and the thing about it when you said write the book, I actually started this book many, 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 many years ago. But I could not finish it. I mean, I finished it. I had to go back in and fix things um, because I had to grow, like Janine grew, so that I could write about it. I could not actually completely finish it. And I know that we jumped to Janine's story, but part of that was knowing a little bit more about Janine. The one that you didn't give the money to, was that in a way your inspiration? I mean, how did you how did you decide you were going to write about a homeless woman? You could have written about any any other kind of character. Was your experience the, the one that you had in DC? Was that the the catalyst? directly related? No, it was not. But it was a, a, something that I carried with me. So it does show up in the book. Um, you know, little things like that show up in the book. So, um, and and a lot of it, Janine. So when you someone said, "Oh, I can hear Janine," yeah. a lot of her growth yeah. came from my. Yeah. So, I do not, but I do. I did live with an uh, older sister for a little while. My older sister, um, who was really not quite as nice as Vicky, but <laughs> I mean, she wasn't me, but it, she's not. Vicky is not my sister or anything. But again, that was much more about um, Janine. Let's find out a little bit more. Janine like Janine so that and hopefully you know my hope was as you read the book that maybe you grow a little bit like Janine uh, did from just going through this so that you do say you know what I see that was my point we would not see homeless people in the same way that we use this exactly they're invisible to us that's exactly right and you know what when you don't do that you're a better person you're a better person one particular character in the book is that, uh, I guess how to say this, someone in that one particular character that you can put your finger on in your life and your family, or is there basically all things that? You know, um, my wife, yeah, I, know what? I think as, as a writer, everything you write is a little bit all about autobiographical anyway. Um, a lot of times I will take pieces from different people and build a person. So if I read it from my perspective, I see a lot of things that I know. Uh, like um, what happened, like my grandmother, for instance. Just, just different things. Um, and there was mixed race issues when 
for my grandmother. So I pull from just little things that, you know, but it's really my imagination growing from a seed that I do. So actually, I have a shirt that says, uh, careful, you'll end up in my next book. <laughs> you'll end up in my next book. Because, you know, when you, you write about what you know and what you see, and again, they're little seeds, but you grow from it. So, so absolutely.